Hey everyone, Phil from Wargamer Online here and today we've got something a little bit new. We are going to be looking at Full Moon Jacket. Um, so we're going to be going through a playthrough, a quick demonstration of how it works and then maybe looking at setup as well. And uh, if we're lucky, even a chat with the creators. So behind me we have Mark Rapson from Wordforge Games and we also have Paul Allen from Strangely Games. Hiya. <laughs> Um, and Full Moon Jacket is basically from Word 4 Games in association with Strangely Games, so that's why they're stood side by side. Okay, let's get into this. Okay, um, right, Paul, let's at least start with um, what is uh, Full Moon Jacket? What's it about? <laughs> uh, it is a cooperative game. Uh, it is a survival action game. Mm -hmm. It is a cinematic experience. Um, it, it's kind of getting loads of kind of various things that have kind of inspired me throughout my entire youth into a board game really so it's kind of elements of predator there's elements of aliens but there's also elements of hero quest elements of space crusade um again the game itself is, is kind of the, the theme um it's, it's been in my head for years um originally i'm, I'm from my background's in video so i try to make a, a little kind of full moon jacket short film it's too hard it's too much money so i couldn't work it out then it turned into an interactive fiction uh, then it turned into a little tiny rpg game that look like Pokemon uh, and then it's essentially through kind of just just seeing and, and, and loving board games it's ridiculous how it's gone full circle yeah. my, my first love of, of gaming was was like Hero Quest so kind of like 18 months ago it's like why not kind of put this kind of narrative into a board game and it, it went on Kickstarter and it's, and it's successfully funded so yeah that's essentially the where it's come from um, yeah so it's, it's me it's bits of me in a game is essentially what it is I know the board is made up of this wonderful little hex pattern thing and there's yes. some great artwork on here we've got a close up camera now so let's just have a quick look at that there's some awesome artwork these are huts aren't they that? yeah yeah I mean this is this isn't the final version this is kind of like a high end prototype so it's like it's 90% there yeah. so it's these circles being reduced and these kind of marks here that I've scribbled on are uh, essentially going to be kind of high res kind so of they'll be added of, obviously added yeah, to the artwork yeah but again the artwork itself is essentially well maybe that's the point worth mentioning what we're looking at today is not the final product yes is it? yeah it's, it's made up of all sorts so it's kind of like prototype there's final resin parts there's kind of punch tokens I'm going to put this in here so this, <laughs> is, this is the first time actually it's, it's not being marked so again stickers on a dice again the final version is going to be obviously a high quality production. Oh, so looking at this, um, yeah. yeah, these look like compass marks, south east, south, etc. So how does this come into the game? Brilliant. So yeah, so everything um, that spawned randomly or any kind of supply drops or kind of anything that's kind of unique that needs to kind of reappear, pop up, you roll that dice um, uh, essentially with a D6, a uh, location dice, and you use these um, markings, these these kind of to find out where a supply drop would land so if you rolled six northwest you'd pick the sixth tile which right. is located on the kind of hexes yeah uh, and then the northwest one of that so you, this version here so things would land uh, okay. so it's quite a unique um kind of thing well, obviously this is a prototype these are stickers on a dice so again the final version is going to be much more kind of higher quality and uh, proper cool. shall we say w what are the other components then so we've seen the board we've seen the uh, some of the dice and yeah the so what else have we got what are the main components there's a few the decks as it were so there's a, um, the equipment, so I'll just kind of throw some of these in. So essentially each character has their own kind of unique purple mm. signature equipment. Um, these again are unique to them, so you'll note the kind of in that corner that's the gunner's icon. So right. quite quick to find. Um, there's anything with those three bullets on is the gunners. Right. So everyone starts with kind of unique equipment that might not be their best and chosen equipment. You, you might find better combinations when you play it. Um, but essentially when you go through the game, You'll find supply drops. Uh, in those supply drops, you'll find kind of ammo, which is it's not the most exciting thing in the world, but it's essential. Yeah. And without that, you're not going to win. Blue cards, which are kind of like cool stuff that you can't craft. So again, claymores and kind of like high res flares, uh, high res, high high end flares, um, and kind of again extra stuff that you can't craft later on. Again, there's going to be landmines and stuff that you can't craft. And then there's also kind of the uh, the green kind of upgrades, so all these kind of flamethrowers, miniguns, they're all kind of bigger versions and upgrades of kind of the uh, signature equipment. Okay. So these cards are in supply drops, so again, essential. Um, apart from that, again, the, the version that we're kind of going to demo is the crafting mode. So the crafting yeah. mode comes with a scavenging deck, so again, as you go through the jungles of Vietnam, you're finding wood and rope and metal and tools and chemicals and cloth, and with them, you craft them together to make all kinds of traps and weapons. So again, my favorite is kind of the Molotov. So again, using right. a 
chemicals in a cloth, and you combine them, and then you own and create a kind of brand new, random, put together weapon. Um, I like that. And then also on top of that, uh, another deck is the event deck. So again, as you're playing the game, the turns, yeah. Um, each turn you set up and you play, uh, it goes from dusk, so a simple how many spawns, so where the werewolves are coming from, how many supplies are being dropped, how many werewolves are going to be spawned, and their toughness. Right. And as you play through the game, it goes from dusk to night. So again, the toughness of the werewolves increases as it becomes twilight, as it becomes darker. So you've got to survive oh, okay. the night. So it's an increase. So as you're finding cooler weapons, the werewolves are getting harder. So you kind of, the obvious thing is you need bigger guns to fight bigger werewolves. Yeah. Um, and also in the in the card, in the deck, there's a get to the chopper card. So halfway through the deck, whereas, as it turns from dust to night, you reveal the get to the chopper card. And this shows you where the kind of helicopter is going to land. And this is where you have to get the kernel out of, which is essentially the main narrative of kind of the, the core of this, this game. So the game's essentially 18 turns. Yes, there is a there's there's various modes, but essentially in this mode that yes. we're demoing yeah, yeah. today, so there's eighteen turns, yeah. eight of which are nine dust, of which are in dust. nine of dust, nine of night, nine, nine, yeah. nine, nine in night. Okay, and at, and at some point you have to. Can we say this? Get to the chopper. Get to the chopper. Um, right. What else? We've also got crafting lists over there. So can the crafting list, yeah. So essentially, like I mentioned, there's there's kind of four types of equipment or items. Um, Essentially, you've got the weapons, which are yep. obviously offensive. Uh, the traps, which are kind of I said, defense is counter offensive. So you can build traps and lay them around the place. There's items, which are again a tourniquet, like a, a poor man's medikit, but it works. Yep. Ammo, just in case you are you've got so much materials but not enough ammo, you can start crafting ammo. Right. And then IED. So uh, one thing, yeah, we mentioned the spawns. I'm gonna just throw this in here. These are little spawn tokens. So these are the nests. So to to play. A full game a full moon jacket that's gonna last 18 turns you're essentially gonna to have to be removing and blowing up spawn points so IEDs are your kind of like best friend to right. do that if you can't find the proper ones in the supply deck okay. and then you've got equipment which you essentially attach to yourself which gives you can allow you to carry more ammo more items or obviously take more hits so, ah okay with the armor and yeah. the rucksack the classic one where you just simply can't keep carrying stuff then you, you've got to awesome Great. yeah um, so the game itself, so Full Moon Jacket is, is there's, there's various modes. Um, so arcade mode is kind of like almost like a tutorial. It's a 12 turn one, but like I said, we're going to demo the kind of core survival game. Right. There's also a nightmare mode, so it goes up to 24 turns and it's a bit more kind of chaotic. Just in case you've like you've mastered survival, um, yeah. and you guys just want to kind of like go through the mill, you know, you really want to kind of sweat to the end. So again, you've got lower ammo. Right, like you only start with one item as well, and you don't know what item it's going to be. So it's kind of a bit more chaotic in there as well. And some of the basics, how many players? Up to six. Up to six. Uh, one to six. So you can play on your own because the werewolves work on like a simple AI system. They move oh. really quickly uh, towards the closest target. So these kind of bad boys here. They're a bit simple, they literally just go straight to you, but they're relentless, they just don't stop. So again, you're not going to be able to remove them all, you've just got to get through just enough to get the kernel out. Um, so again, you, you can play on your own. It does what I mean, the, the kind of, the main, one of the kind of difficulties of the game, apart from, I'll just show this. Each card in the corner um, of the event decks, the kind of turns, there's a number. The higher the number, the harder the stuff. So again, you see this one is two spawns and two werewolves per spawn. Right. If you wanted to, you could throw the hard ones in there, or you could have less characters. So they're the kind of two difficulty ranges. So uh, okay. you could have a randomly shuffled deck with four characters, and that's kind of like a mid range. Or you yeah. could put in all the hard cards and have like two or three characters, really which is just going to be that's that's going to be hard, but not impossible, but yeah, very difficult. Well, that's cool, man. Um, right, we're going to get set up. Uh, we'll let, uh, I think it's uh, it's Mark and yourself that are going to co op their way right. through to getting to the chopper. Get to the chopper. Uh, <laughs> yeah, hopefully, it does better. Last time, Mark played. I'm like, uh, right. Yeah, we just ran. It was like a suicide mission. So, hopefully, we're going <laughs> to play a little bit more tactile than that. Um, but yeah, yeah, it's going to be fun. I'm going to be manning the camera, so you probably won't see much of me, but uh, that doesn't matter because it's all about what's going off on the table. Right. So, yeah. right, let's get on with let's this. Get on with it. Cheers, then. Good, Good to meet you as well. So, we're going to play the survival mode of Excellent. Full Moon Jacket, which mm -hmm. is kind of the main core of the game, which uh, has a crafting system. The ability to kind of scavenge materials through the forests of Vietnam and then put them together to create all kinds of main, uh, kind of weapons and traps and items. Um, the game itself, the survival mode, is a longer mode. It's uh, 18 turns, so halfway through like we played before. Ammo is obviously a problem. Yeah, definitely. So the ability to kind of like 
make a bow or a molotov or a snare or, or some other other means to kind of kill werewolves other than just shooting them becomes really important. Uh, so we're going to kind of play this mode. Um, obviously we're going to set up as we did before with the arcade mode, but I'm going to obviously we'll go through that. Um, it's the same kind of core game, same kind of narrative, i.e. we're in the jungles to find the colonel who's gone down in his helicopter. Yeah. Uh, once we've found him, we have to kind of protect him, uh, and then obviously then we have to kind of defend him uh, until the helicopter arrives and picks him up and gets him out of there. But obviously now the night's longer, instead of the 12 turns in the arcade, we're doing 18, so it's obviously like 50% longer. And for the video, we're going to do the first four turns or so, and then yeah. cut to the end so that if you want to watch the whole thing, you know you can see the entirety of the game without having to concern yourself with two yeah, hours of exactly. time. Exactly, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, the, the game is obviously quick to play, quick to learn, so obviously within the first four turns, you've kind of got yeah. the main mechanics and stuff like that. Uh, so the first things we do, we have set the board up accordingly using yep. the six tiles. So obviously we've chosen a kind of nice little map. It's not too difficult, though, looking at it, we may have some problems. Um, <laughs> obviously with the huts and the river, we've got some kind of uh, sort of like um, scenery to kind of defend ourselves yep. and shoot werewolves at and stuff like that. We picked the four characters. Uh, don't know why we haven't picked the medic, but that's a problem. Um, so we've gone with the communication. So you've got the communications expert yep. and the demolition expert. Oh, so you're packing yeah. the kind of big guns, or the big heavy kind of explosives. Yep. Uh, I've got going with the kind of South Vietnamese allied forces with the scout. He's really fast. Obviously the gunner who's packing a big kind of RPD, Russian, yeah. stolen Russian gun. Um, so we're going to use these four characters. So mm -hmm. just to explain some things, um, each character, has um, certain abilities. So every single character has a, a passive ability. So something you can do every single turn. Yep. Um, which is for the communications expert. Every time a supply drop you know, needs to be rolled for, he can re-roll the location and the compass dice. So obviously letting us hopefully get the supplies a bit closer to yep. us. Every character also has a one-shot ability. So an ability that you can use once per game which can be game changing uh, if used correctly. So again, with the communications expert, he has a airstrike, so you can pick a path to kind of uh, bomb. Obviously, if the werewolves aren't running in a straight line, that's not gonna be great. So if they're weaving and turning, that might be useful. Yeah. And also we're gonna use the scavenge ability. So like we played with the arcade mode, that's not that doesn't come into play, but in this mode it does. So with the communication expert, uh, he can choose to take tools from uh, any bridge tile. So looking at here, there's only one tile in here that has a bridge in it. So if we need tools, he's gonna be really, really useful to get to that yep. kind of hex and kind of scavenge some bits from there. Sounds good. Oh, and also, sorry, um, every character has a limitation on their ammo and their equipment that they can carry. So every character uh, in this kind of game that we're playing has a limit of six cards. So you can only carry up to six items at a time. That includes scavenge materials, that includes ammo uh, as in the cards and all weapons and items. Yep. And every character, um, apart from the gunner, and I'll explain that when I kind of start shooting with her, um, has a ammo limitation of 10. So these, these tokens here on each character, uh, these are the ammo tokens. So everyone starts with 10. Yeah. Apart from the gunner who has 15, but obviously that's part of her yeah. kind of skill. She's the exception. She's the exception. Rule. Um, so that's the kind of setup. So we've got the four characters. We've got their um, signature equipment laid out. We have their ammo. We have the characters. So first of all, we need to kind of decide or put in where the colonel's going to be. So we have the colonel token here. In the minute, um, quite easy. There's, there's the colonel. We can find yeah. him. We flip him over. We also then flip over, making sure he's separate. The other objectives. And we take five of those and take yep. these ones away. So there's going to be six. And we'll shuffle him in. I don't know which one he is. No, I don't know. Oh, he's gone. Where's he gone? Okay. Um, and I'm going to give you three. Okay. And I'm going to have three. And we're going to place one in every empty, oh, in one in an empty circle on each hex. Right. Each tile, sorry. Yeah. Uh, you'll note this is tile one, tile two. Tile three, four, five, and six. Yep. So I'm just going to place one in this hot on tile six. I'll put one place there. one in the middle on number two, and place one on number one in the middle mm -hmm. there. That's where I was going to put one. I'm going to put <laughs> one in the middle of there, and then that leaves me with this one. So I'm going to put this here because we're playing with a mixture, aren't we? We're playing with not just the core game. We've got bits and bobs from the expansions that will be as it's well. Yeah. So there's extra supplies. There's extra different werewolves, uh, spawns. It could be anything. So one yeah. of these is the colonel. The others are either really kind of cool, extra stuff, or kind of nasty surprises, i.e. Yeah. werewolves and more stuff werewolves. like that. Who needs more werewolves? Right. <laughs> um, so first of all, there you go. So this is the section of, of jungle that the colonel's gone down in. Yeah. We know that. We know he's one of these six, but we don't know which one. Yeah. Um, so we're going to have to kind of 
move around and find them. So first of all, uh, one of the main mechanics of Full Moon Jacket, which kind of gives it a little bit of random playability and kind of variable playability and the idea that you can keep every single turn, every single game is completely different, yep. are these two dice. Really simple. Um, it's a compass dice, which has the north, south, east, west uh, kind of directions, and then a d6, which has one to six on it. Give it so if oh, yes, yeah. that might help. Definitely. So it comes with a little compass tile, um, obviously with the six directions. Each one of these directions refers back to a tile, uh, a hex on one of these tiles. Yeah. So the first things first, we need to position this here. So this is north and then yep. south, the next one. Uh, we need to split into two groups. So e just for easy sake, you yep. two go together and my two characters go together. Sounds good. And you can roll to start. So roll those two dice and they'll position your, your two characters in a little fire team. So northeast and six. So finding tile six. Typical, right on the other side of the board. Uh, which one is the northeast? Uh, it's the furthest away you could possibly get. So here's yeah. me there. <laughs> Wicked. Excellent. So yeah, if you know the the northeast. So if this was kind of positioned in the centre of that, this is the northeast. Yeah. Uh, hexagon of tile six. Cool. And then I'll do my two. So one. Well, not too bad. Not one northwest, which is this one here. Position there. I could position them anywhere I wanted, so I could actually put the scout on the other side of the river I wanted to. In fact, I'm crazy. I'm you are crazy if you're doing that. <laughs> split up already. So that means because the river stops you from going from one yes. circle to another. So there isn't a, a circle here, which means to get there you've got to go around. Exactly, yeah. Yeah. So the really simple uh, mechanic kind of moving around, you can move through every hex. Um, apart from rocks and rivers uh, and kind of anything that doesn't have a circle, which is essentially the position of a character. The doors uh, for huts uh, signify you have to go in via that hex. Mm -hmm. uh, and like you said as well, you can't, if there's no circle into this one here. So this side I can go into here, adjacent, but there's no adjacent one there. So I have to kind of go this way. Mm -hmm. Cool. So once we've positioned ourselves, yep. we're kind of ready to start. So, which means that way. Uh, we turn over the first card. So we've created a deck of, what is it, we've gone for 18, so it's nine dusk one chopper card and then nine knight cards and I'll explain that in the sap earlier. Mm -hmm. um, so we'll just turn over the first card and I'll put it here. So we'll note, first of all, there's one spawn. Should I roll for that? Roll for that. So every time there's a new spawn, roll it in. So that's four southeast. So with these little red spawn tokens. Okay, so that's where the war wasp comes. Yes. <laughs> Hello. Oh dear. Uh, so this is kind of like a nest. This is kind of like an entry point. This yep. is where they're kind of coming out of the ground, the tunnels, or yep. jumping over rocks or huts, wherever it is. So there's only one of that, and then there's one supply. So using these two dice. I love this, this mechanism. One. I think this is really clever. You did, you did well with this idea. Thank you. I like it. Also, you with your now you have the communications expert. We didn't yeah. have him last time. You get to kind of re-roll them. Oh, awesome. So you roll all three of these dice to okay. see where the little red red crate's coming in. So the minute, oh, good roll. Good roll there. So six, I'll explain that in a second. So five north. So at the minute, there's oh, a great We don't want that. Falling in miles away. Yeah, so, so there it would be. I'm going to re-roll it So then. you get to re-roll either both of these or just one of those. So okay. you might as well re-roll both. I may as well re-roll them. Two northeast. Two. Nice. Better. So it just crashes yep. in through the roof of the hut. So a lovely kind of six supplies land there. So inside this crate, there are, here's a supply deck. Inside there, there are six cards, or six items, six weapons, which is the maximum you can have. In there, when you get to that, you can take out as many as you want. So you can take out all six, yeah. or you can take out one or two, whatever you want and to And because we're maxed on the cards, aren't we? So yeah, we've exactly. Got, we've all got two Everyone weapons. starts with two items of some sort, either. Most of them are weapons. You do yeah. have a, a trap yeah. um, with your claymores. So yeah, we can only take up to, four, right now, only four extra And cards we can trade if we're in the same hex as well, Yeah, exactly, we? yeah. Cool. So we need to get to that at some point, get some more cool stuff out of that. Yeah. Um, the next thing on here is the wool. So you'll note there's one wolf. This yep. is one wolf per spawn. So okay. at the minute we only have one spawn point. So mm -hmm. one wolf. Uh, obviously if you have six spawns, maybe every single one would get one. Okay. Brilliant. And you'll note as well, just for now, um, there's a toughness of four. So at dusk, the werewolves are coming out. They're kind of affected by the moon. So as it becomes night, yep. they become stronger. So at the moment there's only four. I'll explain that when we come to kind of shooting them and, and killing them and stuff like that. Cool. So that's the setup. So that's the first part of, of the turn. The second part of the turn um, is the action phase. Yep. So this is where we move around, we 
use items, we plant traps, and we do all kinds of stuff, but we yeah. do not shoot. Uh, we, the shooting's in another phase. Okay. The werewolves then move, and then we shoot at them. That's just kind of uh, simulate them running through the jungles, so we've got to almost figure out where they're going to be before we shoot at them. Okay. At the minute, there's one werewolf, and he's here, um, so obviously we're going to know where he's going to be in after that. Yeah. So, the play turn goes from... The sergeant goes first or, uh, at the start of the game with the dog tag, but we don't have the sergeant. So I kind of just elected myself as, as oh, kind you, of... Oh, you go first, do you? Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll just go first. Um, so the scout, so the green the character here, um, gets to go first. She has a passive ability, which uh, every turn she has a free move. Right. So every character has two actions. So these can be movement or use items. That's mm -hmm. it. So you can move, move, or item, item, or move, item. Obviously, with her, she has a free move, so she can move, move, move. Ah. So... But right now, our first kind of objective is to find the colonel, really. Yeah. That's the kind of thing. So one of these six objective points. So with her, uh, I can move three. So I'm going to move one. So a movement is into an empty adjacent hex. Yeah. So that is one movement. And then the second movement, as you enter a hex that has a objective in there, we automatically turn it over because we can't oh. not look at it. Oh. What have you done? What have I done? So that is a werewolf. So there's obviously a werewolf on there. So I found another werewolf. Uh, Two. Actually, I'll use a different one. Oh, okay. got different sculpts, haven't we, as well? Yeah, so. different poses, cool. So I've used two actions, so I have a third or three movement, so I could either keep running or I could come back. Mm -hmm. And you'll note that kind of on this hex here, there's a, there's trees. If I go past the trees, I cannot then shoot through the trees. Oh. And also people couldn't shoot through. So at the moment, this gunner has a line of sight to this well. Yeah. So I find kind of, I'm going to be a bit... Again, it's a long game. I don't want to kind of die straight away. Um, so I'm going to move back into here. So we've got quite a few turns to kind of survive. So I'm yeah, going to use my last action. They're going to deal with two at least. Exactly. Then, yeah. And then play goes to the left. So again, oh. it's quite important that you keep the same kind of uh, pattern. Yeah, because it's tactically things will change. So goes from scout to say communications. So you've got your orange character here. So you have two actions. Yeah. So I'm going to... don't have any items. So just move on. Right? I'm going to go... I'm going to do... One and then into here to reveal Perfect. that one. Yes, I'm so. a bit nervous, but we shall see. Oh, I should have been. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's another werewolf. The chances, huh? What so it's like done? someone set this deck up. <laughs> yeah. Set the game, sorry, yeah. <laughs> so you've moved your two actions. Uh, you're inside the hut with a yep. beautiful, angry werewolf. Yeah. Uh, and then the next play is your demolition. So you may want to kind of come in and support. Yeah, we Makes will. Makes sense right now. We will. So one, he's in there as well. Brilliant. Because you said about how you could only move through if it's an empty hex. Did you mean at least there's one circle? Yes. Yeah. Right, I see. You can move through a circle, but you can't stay in a, in a hex if it's got six characters on there. Right. It kind of fills up the hex. Makes sense. Brilliant. And then my gunner. Um, ideally, I might have a one, move on to the bridge. Mm -hmm. uh, I can have one. So I'm going to stay here for now. Does that mean you could spend your extra action on picking one of these... Items. No, oh uh, no! Actually, no. I'm gonna, I'm gonna undo that. That's a good point. I'll show it now. So, if to, if I don't want to move and I don't want to use any items, I can use my two actions to scavenge. Right. So I'm gonna look around in this kind of hex here and find some bits and bobs. So I'll take the first card off the scavenge deck and I'll just kind of put it in here. So the first card is metal. Oh. So she's kind of searched around the riverbeds and found some bits and bobs in there. Uh, so I kind of hold on to that. So that adds to so my, my card deck. Because that metal means the recipe you're crafting. List. So you could have a shiv instantly. I could, I could craft. I could put this and make it a dagger. Um, she already has a dagger. So that'd be kind uh, of pointless. Point but if you get the red one, what's the red one? Armor. Armor. So, so like a flat jacket. You what's the like a, resource? So the red one here. So yeah, if I get a rope and a piece uh, of metal, I can put oh, this together sense. to so kind you, of create Like a Heath jacket. Robinson piece. Of, like Perfect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's kind of protection. Or... If I'm kind of like thinking of the long game, the IED. So IEDs are really important. They they're used to kind of remove spawn points. So you throw in a kind of improvised explosive. But that needs four. Blows up. It needs four. This but is one though. My scavenger. Uh, my um demolitions. His his scavenge um is Brilliant. crafting an IED item only costs it costs one less card. So I don't need three. So of ideally, those four. it makes sense. The demolition expert uh, can make IEDs for less. He should do, I could try and get this to you at some point yeah. and give you the metal. Brilliant. Yeah. So I'm going to hold on to that for now. I kind of sit around. I don't need to move anywhere. So again, if you don't need to move, you can start to kind of find things and put things right. together as well. So there's always something to be doing. And now does the game. trouble start? Brilliant. Yeah. So <laughs> after we've all moved and we've all taken our actions, the werewolves move. Now this is where the kind of simple AI of a werewolf comes in. They move towards the closest target uh, and they have two actions. They can't use items, so they can only move. Mm -hmm. So they are 
move towards the closest. So this, this this one, one here. Oh, just go. So this one here is in the hex. They will turn into. Yep. And this one would move to there, I guess. Perfect. And this one, that's one hex away. That's two hexes away. So it's going to move into there. And that's it. So they move in. Um, if there's a if there's a they move towards the closest and then the most, and at some mm. point we'll figure that out. And yeah, we'll when we get to it. Take yeah. action. So at the moment they're just moving this towards the closest targets. So. Once they've moved, we then go to the shooting or attack phase. Mm -hmm. Whoever kind of moved first in the action phase also starts to shoot and attack okay. in the kind of uh, attack phase. So, Scout. So Scout's going to kind of go first. She has two weapons. So you choose a weapon to use. Um, she has a sniper rifle and a dagger. Right. I'm going to explain these because um, the dagger, again, I'll, I'll just put it here. The dagger uh, uses no ammunition. So again, Ammo is a, is a massive resource in this game. At some point, we're going to run out. At some point, we're going to have to kind of scavenge extra bits. So I might tactically kind of use no ammo right now and try and kind of kill a werewolf. Yeah, it makes sense. But I get one dice. So that's one attack dice. I have to roll a four or more. So that's a 50-50. Um, at the minute, again, if that was another character, perhaps the, the gunner, I'd, I'd probably use a stab. But she also has a sniper rifle. So at the cost of one ammo, I get one dice. And this ability here called headshot. So any weapon that has a headshot ability kills on a two or more. Nice. So you have a kind of eighty odd percent kind of chance of mm. killing. So I'm gonna eighty six point six six seven. Eighty six point six six seven. So I'm gonna use one ammo. So I'm gonna kind of spend one of these. So yep. I'll cash it in, as it were. Yeah. I'll then get one attack dice. I need two or more. <laughs> the pressure's building. Oh. Hey. This is six. Nice six. So. I then a, a a very, elect a target. That's a very cool dice, actually. That's is that is cool that dice. um is that going to be in the game? Uh, uh, the, maybe the WGO the, symbol. The WGO, yeah. <laughs> yeah I like these sixes. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, obviously you elect a target. I'm going to choose a target that's obviously in my hex because yeah. it's around my face. I scored one or two or more because I you know, just removed he'd it from be me. dead. He'd be dead. And there must be silver bullets at that at that level. Well, it will, yeah, the were werewolf kind of lore. To anything kills you can stab him with a piece of wood that will kill him for now but in the heart in the like heart. a vampire the vampire wells right yeah in Vietnam <laughs> just crush all those kind of laws together so scout's gone so then we'll go to the communications so oh it's me it's all you have me. a choice of a pistol yeah, a handgun or an assault rifle so the six combo what does that mean so if I put that over here so any weapon so quite a few of the US marine weaponry has a six combo so every time you roll some dice Every six that you roll, you get another dice. So mm -hmm. they're kind of like explosive dice. So in theory, you can keep on going. There are weapons in here that have multiple dice. And if you roll sixes, you can roll more sixes. So that gives me, that's one ammo for one dice. Yes. Or die, rather, I should say. Yeah. And then that is two ammo for two dice. Yeah. So I think because I've got my other guy in the hex as well, I'm going to be a little bit Risky, more right? frugal with my, um, my ammo. Like and I'm going to go that way. Brilliant. So using one ammo, so yep. you'd use one of your uh, tokens okay. to cash that in, throw into kind of the... Into the pot. And, and then one dice and you have on. four or more. Four or because more. Because they have toughness of four. Oops, I just rolled that completely off the <laughs> off the board. That's impressive. Uh, start again. Oh, I only get two. So he's he's got a bit scared. Point blank range just shoots around yeah. my heart. Right. So yeah, so maybe like yeah. Now it's the demolition guy's turn. And the demolition only has an assault rifle yeah, that you can so use. So I'm gonna have to use two bullets. So my aim to be frugal has backfired completely. Well this is it, yeah. So you're looking at kind of if I miss with the dagger that kinda of cause problems later. So. so and I've got to get at least one four, have I? Oh no, so with the toughness, it's a multiple of that. So you need to roll ah. like four or more as a total. Okay. So you'll get to obviously there's only one well for the moment, but as you get three, four, five, or six as they're coming at you, you want bigger guns, more dice, more kind of higher numbers. So theoretically I should do this unless I manage to get a, a double one, one or, or yeah, a two one. <laughs> oh, just <laughs> that nice. Was, wow. So you're on a four as a total. That toughness at dusk are four. So you get to kill one werewolf. I, it's I only think one kill line the of sight. there. So he's deaded. Perfect. Okay, good stuff. So now it comes to the gunner. So we have a, 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 I say, a slight issue. The gunner has a dagger. Mm -hmm. So no ammo for one dice, or a machine gun that I'll show you here. That has this ability called rapid fire. So. You can use either numbers in in the box. So you can fire for three for three ammo, I get three dice, or for five ammo, I get five dice. And I need to roll a total of four or more. So five is out of the question. That's just too much. Yeah. Um, but a three again is quite over. It's quite like wasteful, you, yeah, isn't it? exactly at such early stage. But again, as we tactically went through the get up move, like the scout, the calm, the demolition, that's the gunner's last. Do I risk it with a dagger? 
And if you don't get him, then he's going to. The wealth you. is going to really kind of have me. Yeah. So I'm going to be a bit scaredy cat and spend three ammo because I don't want to take any risks right now. So I am going to spend. I spent three ammunition. Yeah. So I'm going to use three dice. Hopefully, the chance of rolling three ones. Unlikely. Oh, oh my goodness, that's 15. pretty impressive. So I need to kill four. Um, so imagine if there was kind of more werewolves around. I right? every single four I roll would be a kill. So at the minute that's fifteen. So that's three, I believe. Three, four, yeah. eight, twelve. So, 12, yeah. so I would be able to kill three. So again, overkill. But right now, I'd rather kind of stay alive. Yep. Than kind Makes of not sense. So was uh, remove that. Uh, after we've all uh, done our attack phase, the werewolves attack. Mm -hmm. No, no well, so <laughs> no, no attacking. Uh, so then, after that, we move on to the next next turn. So then, we reveal the next card. So we'll replace that one here. So we have another spawn point. Shall I roll that? Yes, please. So that is five southeast. Five. Five. Oh. Southeast. That's that's good. It's spreading out. I think we have no supplies. Oh, that's oh. not good. And, and every single spawn gets two werewolves. So there's two for you. Thank you very much. So I don't know whether this is a good idea or not, but I always, when I restock them, I always put it on that one, so yeah. I know I've done it. Otherwise, if you don't, yeah, exactly, it's a really good idea. Yeah, um, each hex. I mean, in theory, there's no, there's no card in the games that we have right now that has a um, two or more. So uh, next card. So we have the spawns. Uh, no supplies and two werewolves per spawn, which we've done. Which we've done. Uh, again, you'll note as well uh, the populace, the population of each hex is a maximum of six. Yeah. So there's no card, um, no turn card that has uh, a three in this game. So you can have up to three spawns in one hex. Uh, I've only had one occasion where there's four, and in that case, you can only spawn up to six. Yes. Yeah. Amazing. Uh, and then the the player counter goes to the communication. So now, on the second turn. You, uh, the orange dude, the communications gets to go first. So, yeah. well, we we're we not still don't too, know where the colonel is. Yeah, we're not too concerned about werewolves for us at the moment. Because no, you guys are good. <laughs> I want to try and get into there, but I'm going to have to get all the way around, aren't I? Yeah, who made this map? This oh, is crazy. It's terrible. So, communications, the orange. Two actions. One, two. Yep. And do you know what? My demolition guy is going to. I want to do it because I've not done it before. I want to scavenge. Scavenge. So, I'm going to grab a scavenge. It card. makes sense. I mean, yeah. We've, we've got like 17 more turns or whatever to do. That's it. So I've got some wood. <laughs> hey! Um, <laughs> so Demolition's guy, yeah, so you're looking through the, the hut, you found some wood. So right now, if you look on the uh, on the crafting list, there is a spear. Ooh. So you can craft a spear straight away. And um, do you know what? Actually, that might be quite a good idea for him. Demolition guy doesn't, doesn't have, have any have. low range. He's got mid gun what, right now. I like that idea. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have my own spear. Work it. So, so what you do is you would essentially take the wood, but then you'd instantly kind of build it. Yeah. So then we'd kind of discard the wood for now, uh, and then you'd replace that wood in your kind of. And hand. what do these things mean? The symbols. Brilliant. There. So, the spear is is a kind of one shot ability. So you'll note in the kind of the ammo box is an X or discard. So to use that, you have to discard the right. card. You only get one dice, so one attack, but it has the ability of headshot. So it's like a one shot sniper. Yeah, essentially. That's cool. that's cool. So you, I say, guaranteed you're eighty. Six percent. Uh, yeah. Chance of killing a werewolf. So again, for one piece of wood that you've just scavenged, you've essentially got yourself like a nice a one and shot then, sniper. Because that's with my demolition guy. Yeah, so it's really important you keep. Yeah, so he's got three cards, three three yeah. things at the moment. Wicked. Nice. That's uh, and then goes done, to then. my gunner. Uh, I'm gonna essentially one of the things. This is as soon as you start to kind of go into the game, and you're over here. I'm over here. It's a co-op game, obviously. So mm. we start to discuss what are we gonna do. Do I kind of split up and go my way, or right now? Well, we still got to find the colonel, haven't we? And I think we can four... meet back around this six here. Because yeah. if it's some sort of beautiful kind of weapon yeah. um, that's really useful for me or you, then we can kind of share them out. So he's gonna, she's gonna move out this way. So one. Pop it. If that's the werewolf, but you know what? Hey, it's the colonel. Unbelievable. So we found the colonel. Turn two. I'm going to show this to the camera. Yeah. So this is the model that you've got for it, isn't it? Yes. So in the game, it's, it's originally a token, but obviously there's options of kind of using the miniature if need be. And he's beautiful. Uh, he has his own kind of side missions and stuff in a campaign mode. Uh, but right now, when we found him, he's kind of injured and hurt. His guts are hanging out. He's, he's come out of a helicopter. He's crashed it. He's struggled. He's crawled away from the helicopter. And he's got some pretty important information about these werewolves or, or so, isn't we he? Assume so. We assume so. We we we're just grunts. We're just yeah. kind of like thrown in to find him. That's our job. So we found him. It was like, oh, brilliant. We found him on turn two. Really cool. But unfortunately, now he becomes a target. So when I spoke about like the most, or they kind of the werewolves go towards the closest or the mostest. Um, yeah. Now there's two 
you're never going to really leave the colonel on, their own, on his own because he can't defend himself. So you're going to be with the colonel, hence that making him more of a priority if the werewolves are nearby. Yeah, yeah. So right now, these werewolves are going to be coming this way because it's the closest they're kind of mostest. Yeah. Um, so, Gunnar's just going to stay there, kind of protect the colonel. Scout, I'm going to move. So, move into this one. So this is one move. Again, we know that that isn't the colonel, but that could be a werewolf, or it could be supplies, or anything mm. like that. Right now, six supplies seems quite kind of tasty to me, so I'm going to go that way. So yeah. that's one action, two actions, and three actions. So I'm going to kind of run into the way of the werewolves. Okay, so once we've moved, yep. werewolves move. So they move towards the closest. So right that is there. me here. So they move in. So even though there's more here, this is the closest target. Yeah, it's in the hex, so yeah. they can't exit a hex if the if there's a kind of character. They in smell there. blood. They smell blood exactly. And these ones here, so you can kind of. I mean, this is the closest one, but we can count the, the spaces. So one, two, three, four, six, three, four, five. So this is a bit quicker. So one, two. So they hunt by smell essentially. Yeah. So they they go by the quickest direct route. Wicked. Excellent. So then it's, it's you shooting, because I'm not going to do any shooting, because no. I can't see anything, can I? Exactly. We don't explain this, but yeah. So trees and huts and rocks block line of sight. Yeah. You can shoot out of a tree hex, but you can't shoot through it. Yeah. So right now, these tree, this hex here is blocking And you can shoot into it as well. You can you? shoot into it, yes. Yeah. So if there's yeah. wolves in the hex, you can shoot them. Right. So it goes through to the gunner, which is kind of lucky, I suppose. So I get to choose. Um, I'm going to try three. Yeah. So I have three more ammo. And I get three dice. I need to score really... Um, minimum of eight. I minimum guess. of eight, brilliant, yeah. Again, these trees block this. I could argue that I could shoot them, but those trees definitely block yeah. that. So I need an eight or more. Oh my oh days. No, what have Seven. You done? What is going on here? So I pick it one to kill. The other one's kind of shut up a little bit, but uh, yeah. unfortunately, it's still alive. So it goes to my scout, and I'm not going to mess around. I'm going to again use my sniper and hopefully get a more than a one. Oh my days. You said the number. You said the number. Never say the number. <laughs> so, sniper point blank is like, oh, I can't shoot that thing. But good, oh, we get to test out, we get to show how people get injured. I did that on purpose. That was right? your plan, was that it? That was my plan to miss horribly with two characters. I feel characters. shocked at your inability to play the game. It's pretty bad, isn't it? I'm let down. It's crap. <laughs> but we're all right. So, once we've all kind of attacked, the werewolves attack. So, if there's any werewolf in your hex or adjacent hex, yeah. they injure you instantly. Big claws. We, did big play, teeth. we are playing this game with the medic, aren't we? Oh dear. We didn't pick the medic, Mark. Oh, we're, like, oh, we're pros. We don't need that character. That's going <laughs> to slow us down. So, the werewolves attack. So, there's, there's only one. Uh, they attack, obviously, the priority is the hex that they're in. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, they attack the adjacent hex. So, Scout takes one wound. So, what that means is, unfortunately, lie her down. So, she's injured. And her actions go down to one. Right. I say luckily. Uh, luckily, she always has this free movement, so she can always move on. So I mean, she can still move too. Yeah. But essentially, she's really she's really fast at crawling as she's well. She's really as fast at running, crawling. Yeah. But what we need to do quite quickly is find a medic kit, and the only way we can get a medic kit because we don't have the medic, we could craft one with the tourniquet, which involves two cloth. Right. We don't have any cloth, uh, or we could find them in the supply deck. Well, let's get to that supply. So right now, oh, good to hang in there. It's not the worst condition. And again, uh, the only lose condition is if the colonel dies or doesn't get to the helicopter. So if the scout did get killed, that would suck right now, but the game would still go. Yes, yeah, yeah. okay. Wicked. So once they've all attacked, we then go to turn three. So okay. again, like we do, we get the next card. So turn three, we, we put it on the top. Oh, my goodness. Uh, we have two new spawns. Oh, Lord. So roll for individual ones. So each one gets rolled for the... Uh, two northeast. That sounds bad. Oh, crikey. <laughs> <laughs> Could just go any worse. Um, and then uh, six north. <laughs> yes. Oh, it Slightly could, it worse. It could get worse. Uh, and there's no, no supplies supply. again. And then every single one gets... So you drop these in. So you got... Yeah, I'll do oh, these two. Four, four spawns on, already in turn three. Uh, and then the player counter, as it were, goes, goes to demolition. Okay, so you get to move. So, <sighs> crikey, crikey. Yeah. Crikey. So I'm going to move we in. Some. I'm going to go to here. Cool. So one, two, I, and I can move through here. Without yeah, you problem. can pass. You can yeah. run past and barge past the werewolf. That's fine. Cool. So he's just running like Billy O. The gunner. So this is to mention. So the colonel. We don't have the medic. Yeah. Because we're crazy. <laughs> oh, no. So to move the colonel, so the colonel's injured. The colonel essentially cannot move, cannot defend themselves or anything like that. Right. So to move the colonel, 
So at some point the helicopter is going to be called, we're going to be able to move them. So move the car that takes an action to move and then another action to move with them. So essentially two actions to carry the colonel. Could, could we leave the colonel on his own there and then send <laughs> Bluey in and out again to sort of go to the supply dump? Perfect, because yes. Because this one could then also cruel to be with the colonel the two injured could get sort of lay there together yeah, cuddling shit. each other <laughs> yeah, guts. You know, yeah so we can leave them for a second um so yeah we could so i'm going to pop in here so i'm going to use one action and it's free to take supplies so anything involving supplies and equipment so sharing them or taking them or crafting them is all free should it be a scout first no it goes this way so it's the gun oh, okay scout yeah yep. it's going to be like next after that yeah so i'm moving here so i have three cards my limit is six, so I can only take up to three. So I'm going to be, I say greedy, but let's be honest, we think we need to get May this out well. quickly. So I'm going to take the three. I'll take the three cars of the supply deck, and I'll show them. So I'll put them here. Medikit, medikit, medikit. <laughs> medikit? Oh. oh, there's two in the game. So that's good. Oh, that is good. A grenade launcher. Also nice. And a little bit of ammo. So we've got one of all three. So in the supply deck, there's generally the blue items, which are the item cards and yep. traps. The green cards are the weapons, the kind of upgrades, uh, and then the red is for ammo, which will be really important later. Cool. So I'm just going to pull more here. And you can share them at any point with anyone else in the same exactly. hex. Yes, so you guys need to come in here, I'll give you, we can mm -hmm. swap things about. So I'll use my next, my last action to go back to the colonel. Cool. Or, oh yeah, that's how I could use. Or I could have stayed here and reloaded a little bit of ammo, but let's mm -hmm. be honest, I think it's more important to kind of protect the colonel. Now, the scout, using the one action, or the free move, can go into here. Mm -hmm. We can then swap the medikit yep. to the scout for free, and yep. then with her last action, or her only action, she could actually use the medikit. She's back on the oh. So those guts, she's got them back in, she's <laughs> strapped it in, a bit of morphine in the <laughs> heart. Happy fine. days. And then we discard the medikit, so we, we used it and thrown it away. So you can, yeah, yep. morphine yourself, medikit yourself. So she's back to normal. So it's kind of like, oh, yeah, that kind of worked. Excellent. But she doesn't get any extra actions, it just resets. So next turn, she's obviously back to normal. Cool. Well, I'm going to. So I've got my communications left. So what I'm going to do, I think, is I'm going to come into here because they're going to go towards you because there's three in one hex anyway. Yeah. So I can come in here and then I can help shoot them. Perfect. So one, two. Beautiful. Yeah. He's ready to be there when he's needed. Excellent. So that's all of our moves. So we move the werewolves. So. That's the closest target, that's the closest target, and, and the most, yep. And then these two follow one, two to there, and this one, one, two. Perfect, simple. Happy days, I think. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, you delicious. have a choice now. Instead of just a sword rifle, you've got your spear. I'm, I'm going to have to use a spear just yeah, because yeah, yeah. I don't want to waste bullets unnecessarily. And so long as I don't get so that. So you do have to discard it to oh, use it. Okay, and where does it go and discard it? It'll Just go back into here. this part, yeah, so. There yeah. we go, put it there. We can always craft another one. It's, it's yeah. not discarded, it's discarded. But. So you get one dice. Don't say that number this time. And you have to roll a two or more. <laughs> yes. Pop. Okay, so, so he's. Speared. So there Good we go. Work. Good work. So again, the crafting system, you see straight away, you've saved one ammo. Or, or two yeah. ammo. Yeah, So exactly. that one piece of wood is actually worth two, which doesn't seem like a lot, but. Stretch of the game is quite important. Yeah, because ammo is so important, isn't it? It's ridiculous. So, you're gonna, there's three werewolves literally in my face. Yeah. But luckily, as well, with line of sight, I actually see these two here. So I'm gonna fire five, oh. which is leaving with, with four ammo. But you have but got you have got your thingy as well, haven't you, if you need it? Your ammo oh, find. Yes, yeah, all kinds of kind of. So she can trade ammo for other stuff. She's got a, a one shot ability, she can fire any rapid fire for full for free. Oh, wow. So right now, I'm just gonna, you know, just gonna wait to save the day. Or if you think you could take out one or two, I could use three ammo. All right, just go for it. Yeah. Because even if you take out a few Five. of these as well, can't complain. Fine. So I need as many as possible. I'm gonna say any number. Oh my days, so that's a six there. That's a six, so that's 10. 15, 16. So if my maths are correct, that's four. So four times four yeah, is and you haven't got 16. That, you haven't got that six combo thing, which is cool on that weapon. No, you? no, just the rapid fire. Yes, every, yeah. some do have that kind of combo. Really. So one, two, three, and then this sucker here, four. So kind of thinned out the numbers a little. And now with the scout, so even if she was injured, she can still fight. Yeah. So I'm gonna use my sniper again, so one round. And roll more than a one. Oh, I said it again. <laughs> Work. Oh, oh, three. Phew. So that goes pop as well. Pop. Excellent. And then it would be you, but got nothing this to do one, now. the huts and those trees block yeah. that guy. There. That's fine. Wicked. 
So, should we do one more turn before we cut? Yeah, think? yeah. I think we'll, we'll see what's left in the supply crisis anymore. Yeah, yeah. Juicy things. Definitely. So, turn four. So, we use the alpha. Is the blade. Oh, that's good. So, first of all, we use the things from left to right. So, the spawn. Well, uh, spawn uh, three southwest. Oh, something different. Mm, that's good. In a hut. In a hut, it's okay. A supply crate. So, right. roll them. You're the comms. We still got the comms. He's not dead, so we can use that. Three northwest. So that's exactly the same number. I'm going to have to re-roll that, I think. Yeah. With the hope we get nearer to where we are. Uh, three north makes no difference. It's slightly better. Uh, it's one hex closer. Yeah. <laughs> so there's three here. Can I re-roll the three as well? No, you can't no. re-roll that. You can re-roll no. the location of it. Okay. Um, and then to each spawn is oh. two. It's getting a bit too airy. Literally. Nice. <laughs> so at some point, with your demolitions and also us crafting, we need to start thinking about taking out spawn points. That's obviously, yeah. the, the, we're not gonna, if we just let the spawns keep happening, especially through the kind of 18 turns, it's just gonna be just too many. Yeah. So with your demolitions guy, you can take up to three out in one go. Yeah. So you're gonna, again, tactically they're all, two here. They're quite spread at the moment, aren't they? Two here, so you I mean, you can take out these two straight away. So oh, you can that, take out up to three in adjacent. So that even might be if it's, a good idea actually, because if we take those two out, that's really good because that keeps us safe. And now we're thinking about where to like yeah. put together defences. So we're thinking if we stay this half of the board and defend it like crazy and keep spawns out, we could just shoot them as they come. That yeah. might be a cool tactic. Yeah. Or if they I keep like spawning it. here, we can then run and that he's way. First, is, no, he's not first. He's, he's not first. Last. So turn four, yeah. So we'd start with the gunner. So I think, yeah, as a tactic, I think that might be quite useful. So mm. also, a hut is a really nice point to defend from. So the gunner, if we enter, we could drag the colonel into this hut. And then we can shoot out of the hut in any direction, but the wolves can only enter through the oh, door. Yeah, that'd so be we really can put good. traps out front, maybe, and just kind of defend. That, that'd them. be good, because that'd be nice and uh, cinematic for our cut end of scene one. Right? Yeah, act Beautiful. one, oh, act one is done. done. That's decided. Um, <laughs> so I'm going to move into here, and yeah. I'm going to use my second action yeah. to reload. So with ammo, the ammo and the guns, these kind of tokens, they're kind of fixed in. They're the kind of specific ammo, as it were. You can't give them out, they're mm. stuck. But these cards I can exchange, yep. or I can use an action to discard it, and get two. So that's an ammo with two, so I get two ammo. And there's su that's the worst one, isn't it? There's loads of Yeah, yeah, that sucks. Uh, it's up to eight. It's generally yeah. four, four, four and six is kind of under. So again, have a look at a little ammo count already, down to six on turn four. <laughs> I just love shooting, like, gunner, yeah. what can I say? Um, and with a colonel, with a scout, so I'm going to move the colonel, so I'm going to use two actions to drag the colonel into the hut. Yeah. Uh, and she has one action left, so I can't scavenge. To be fair, I could have done some stuff, so I'm going to just wait there. I kind of yep. take poorly use that, but I think it's important to get the colonel out of harm's and way. And then I go orange next, so communications. Just run. I'm going to come and join you. One, two. So I'm stood outside trying to get hold of someone. Where's the chopper? <laughs> Where's the, the chopper? chopper? And then. Um, so you could use. So to use your one shot ability, it costs an action. Okay, yes. Every one shot ability it explains in brackets the phase that you're using. Show, so we show the camera yeah. and then at least everyone knows what's going so on. So if it's got the word action in front of it, so we'll you use it one. in the action phase. If it has attack, it's the attack phase. If it's a reaction, uh, the medic has a reaction, it's just instantly used when that kind of condition right. takes place. So this one I'm going to try and read uh, side on. So one shot, fire in the hold, action, you can remove up to three werewolf spawn counters from your hex and adjacent hexes Brilliant. so basically that means we take those two out so two here so yes you're standing in this hex and there appears to be two spawns in adjacent Perfect. hexes so you're going to use that ability so Definitely. click click boom there's those two gone so we need to wipe those four out but apart from that no more wells yeah. are coming and so i get to move as well still yeah you st so you got another action so, so that was one I'll action do, i'll move to here um, and just wait. I know they're going to come towards me, but, but yeah, even if they're in trees, this this hut is brilliant. I can shoot. I'm mm. assuming I, this gun is be able to shoot any werewolf that comes near us. Perfect. Okay. So that's all of that. Then werewolf movement. Werewolf yeah? movement. So demolitions is the closest. One. Your comms is that. Oh. oh, comms is in a bit of trouble. One, two. Brilliant. One, two. One, two. These are sort of ganging up pretty quick aren't they yes yeah you'll know they kind of they mm. form kind of pause which is good you can bottleneck them and yeah various bits. it's the things where you can just take a whole hex in one go yes yeah demolitions you just remove two spawns not only that you have claymores oh. so you can lay some traps down they blow up entire hexes 
that is the only thing in the game that causes friendly fire. So as I explain, I'm going to shoot into this hex. Your comms guys are going to be safe because yeah. I'm, I'm going to shout the word duck and you'll go down and I'll shoot the, gun, uh, shoot the werewolves. The, the it's, not claymores, a duck. it's not a duck, it's a werewolf. It's a werewolf! <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, and then the claymores, if on the, on the card, anything that is in that hex when it goes off is removed. Mm -hmm. So if you're kind of crazy enough to kind of run into a claymore hex with werewolves, yeah. Says right. <laughs> yeah. Says right. I've yep. seen it before. I've seen it in turn two, actually. Oh. That was hilarious. But um, so, Gunner goes first. Let's have a grenade launcher. But the thing with the grenade launcher is um, it does decent amount of damage. It has this thing called blast as well. So all the uh, adjacent hexes get take damage. But right now, there's nothing in those no. hexes. So I'm feeling the machine gun is still going to be the best option. Um, as I'm getting a bit concerned with ammunition, and we can all kind of see that hex, I'm yeah. going to use three for now. Mm -hmm. Just because I am getting a bit concerned this turn four. I'll take these out. I don't want to have some big numbers. Oh, oh wow. That's bad. That's 17. Yeah, so that gets. That's four. That was pretty damn good shooting. Yeah, I made a backup, right, from that terrible start. Yeah. It's alright. <laughs> Get back into it. So, yeah, so three ammo, four kills. That's a decent ratio. Yep. So. Uh, now, the scout. I'm going to pop one of yours just for pure fact. I think. Uh, if you roll less than seven, which is like, mm, it could happen. Um, so I'm going to fire one ammo. I'm going to get. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Fear of rolling a one. I know. <laughs> Sweaty palms. I kill one there. Right. And then communications. You so can you see can't this see. one. Exactly, yeah. yeah. So why not? So Again, handgun or. I'm going to handgun it. He's yeah. far enough away that he doesn't cause us any problems. So one, one, one ammo, ammo. One dice. One dice. And I don't quite make it. Again. <sighs> He's rubbish with his handgun. He's rubbish. He's, He's good at talking, but good bad at shooting. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> talk, talk. Um, and then finally, demo man. Two. two, two. Yeah, I mean it's a lot of ammo, but we don't want to lose him. No. So four or more is a collective. Yeah, we're good. Nice. You could have killed both. I could have done both. Yeah. Ah, oh, so if we'd have, if she'd have shot him, we'd have got them all. But who? So again, know? yeah. So one of the main mechanics is kind of like who am I targeting, mm. what weapons to use, what kind of systems and stuff yeah. like that. Brilliant. Brilliant. So, so what we're going to cut now to the get the chopper bit? We're going to play a bit more without you knowing, and then <laughs> yeah, we'll get to the chopper bit. So we'll get to kind of the midpoint. So yeah, yeah. Cool. cool. Okay. Next so we, turn. So this is this is. <gasps> oh, he's so excited. The so chopper. I'll put it more in the center. Get to the chopper! So this is turn, what are we on now, nine? So this is the tenth. The it's, tenth. It's, it's kind of midpoint. It's the so hidden the, tenth. The hidden tenth, uh, 9.5. Uh, so yeah, as, as kind of dusk, as the sun's dropping down, the helicopter's finally kind of been signaled in. So this isn't the landing of the helicopter, this is the signaling of where it's going to land. Right. So, using the get to chopper card, we, again, do the honors, sir. Am I doing it, am I? The communications can't alter this. This is kind of like, mm. this is it. This is where it's going to land. So, so I'm going to do one at a time. We are, we're kind of midpoint. <laughs> right, so south. it's going to be south somewhere. Yeah. And then. Don't roll it. I won't say any numbers. Yeah, yeah there's one number I don't want. No. Three words. And that was it. Was that? That was the uh, one I didn't want. <laughs> so I'm just going to put that there. So there's a little tiny helicopter token. So this kind of lands in the center of the, of the Oh, it is, isn't it? It's really far away. You've got seven hexes to get him. My ex. <laughs> what? <laughs> so, the, so the helicopter is going to appear here. So we've been signalled. We know where he's coming. So, to win the game, we've got to get this kernel, which is the north side of the map, to the furthest point of the south side of the map. So, wow. Uh. Without the medic. Again, the medic, we're not playing the game, I'll explain the medic. The medic's, medic's passive ability is she can kind of run with the colonel, so she can move two hexes with him. At the minute, we've got kind of a, the scout's like the second best, so I can kind so of... So we've got to move one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So plus the door in... Eight, then. Eight in nine turns. Oh, my goodness. So it's a kind of cinematic, you grab and just run. So I've got the scout, essentially, I'll, I'll probably take, and yeah, that's her role now. Mm. So everyone else has got to just shoot them off as I'm just going to run straight through. So so we probably need to give as much stuff to your other guy, the gunner of, of Yeah, hers. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Again, as, as it's gone through, we're going to... Well, we're, uh, we're thin out. I'll, I'll, my boys will thin out this section. Right. And then... You've still got the communication, you've still got the airstrike. So oh. You can, oh. So you've not played that, so you can we can bring that in. So only gunner's still got a kind of full auto. Like, it'd be nice to find a bigger gun, perhaps, but that'd be fine. I've seen well. worse. Um, so, 
the next car. So as the helicopters with signals, like, yeah, good news, gonna get out so of this here. So f- this is turn oh. one of the night. Yeah, so, okay. yeah, essentially turn 10, but yeah. yeah. So I could just position it here, I guess it's pretty obvious. Um, so again, the colors change, it becomes night. So the only thing that really changes in regards to as, as mechanics as the game is the toughness of the werewolves go up. Right. So again, four to five, which doesn't seem too much, but when you calculate that by a lot more wolves. Yeah, I mean, there's what nine werewolves on there. That's nine extra that we need that we didn't need to kill to kill them. Yeah. So, as per usual, so there's one more spawn. It's relentless. We really don't want to get this. So four, out. four northwest. That was four. We should have. Oh my goodness. Okay, and, and then no one, supplies. No supplies and one werewolf per spawn. So we did well, we've removed, <laughs> our plan was to, fingers crossed, the helicopter lands this half. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All good plans. Is that a work? We, gotta, we, oh we could have moved them a bit closer. Are. We are in trouble. Big oh. traps. We but we're almost, we're almost, I think we almost made the, I said the IED. Yeah, and I've got some bits and bobs over here. So I've got the rope, the cloth, the tools. And I've got metal. And I do scar. have a Molotov as well. Yeah. We're going to... Burn those werewolves. So with your demolition, again, this is going to be really. So I say one of the most important things is to remove spots. So we took out two early on. Yeah. Uh, we haven't had any C4 yet in the supply, so fingers crossed, maybe mm-hmm. something in here. Uh, but what we have been kind of doing is, is kind of building towards creating an IED. Yeah. So we've got three parts, but as you mentioned earlier on, your demolition can create with three. Yeah. The issue is the scout has two parts. You have one part. Yeah. So as I'm running through the jungles. Lob it across, stuff out yeah. here and you can grab them and make that stuff. So, with the gunner going first, yeah, um, I can use the two actions to drag the car. So this is this is where you kind of start to relay the car. Without the medic attack that we can use is, I use my two actions to move the car out. Yeah. So that's the kind of her can, her go, mm-hmm. but then the scout can use her free move, and then her two actions to again move the car out. Ah. So good. there might be, say there's eight turns, we could probably get that down we, to six yeah, or so maybe. But, already. Yeah, but again, now we're exposing ourselves to kind of the elements of... We're a little conga line. And also the fact that the scout, if we're going to do that, the scout hasn't got time to reload, hasn't got time to kind of put down traps or anything like that. So everyone else is going to... Her role's now going to be... Just carry. Yeah. So should I... So you've done... <laughs> You've done your two, so I've got a communication now. Should I go and join you at the Colonel Square, do you think? Uh, I can't even get there, actually. No. Um, you could, again, you're in a decent position to shoot stuff off. I'm going to just, I'm going to scavenge. Yeah, yeah. I've got another tool, and she's on. he's on five now. So I've got two tools, a rope, a cloth on my side at the moment. Yeah. So, um, again, if we're looking for IEDs, maybe to... The plan might be to kind of run a little bit ahead and take out a few spawns early because the longer yeah. they're there, the more werewolves are coming out. It'd be great if we could clear this this out here. Yeah, yeah, I think that's the a priority now. To right, I'm gonna. Uh, I think I'm gonna demolition's gonna scavenge as well. Go for it. And rope. Oh. So I'm getting a lot of duplication. So, that, uh, so the rope would be with you. Oh, that's not, true. So. Sorry. It's okay. I even got some spawns down here. I don't know what man. Um, we adding more spawns. Yeah, the last thing we need right now. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm I'm maxed out on him now. So. Yeah. It's a lot of tools and rope. Does that, do I have to pay to trade in? So it takes an action to right. yeah, reload you again. Okay, that's all right then. So we're down. So now the werewolves move. Mm. Oh my. So I'll move the closest ones. Yeah. So this one is a priority. So that would have to go. go. Luckily, one. Yeah. 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 So these guys can't jump the river. Yeah. So one, one, two, three. Yeah. Here's the. It's getting busy. And at night as well. Mm. So, machine gun. Oh, this is probably the five. This is it. Looking low. Um, five dice. Five attacks. And now, obviously, multiples of five. Yeah. So they're not just the obvious, just the fours. Ooh. That, that oh. Nah. Mixed bunch there. So that's 12 plus five, that's 17. So three. So instead of, yeah, previously at dusk it would have been four, now it's three. So I'm going to remove these off the kernel. Yeah, it it's makes It's not sense. looking good for you guys, I've got to be honest. Oh, I agree. Uh, and then the scout, again, I might, again, it sounds crazy. I can't. 
so I can't fire it. So in a hut, you can fight out of a hut in any direction. I can't fight into a hut, only through the door. Yeah. So I have a rock, beautiful rocket launcher. I can't use that. So and you I'm can't gonna, either here because this is no. Forest. So I'm gonna again. To be honest, if I don't kill them, too, I'm in trouble. So I'm going to use my rocket launcher. Mm -hmm. So again, it has a kind of no, has a, a kind of discard use. So it's a one shot ability. Mm -hmm. I get four dice, and it does have the blast ability as well. So hopefully, I'll do something. Oh, just a so ten. So these two werewolves here in the middle, so five and five is ten. Mm -hmm. so kill them too, and everything adjacent that is a werewolf gets a hit of one dice. So I'm going to roll. Two dice, uh, and kind of hopefully there. So oh, five and two, so one. one out. Yeah, so one takes damage, so I take this guy out. Yeah. So again, I can use it in my favor to kind of remove those. So I kill three. So that's not too, that's good there. Yeah. <laughs> what does a Molotov do? So Molotov, so it has an incendiary ability. So every dice you roll, you plus one to. Okay. So yeah, so lob. So this is a good card. This card's got all kind of new stuff on it. We're not using yeah. it. So lob means you don't need line of sight. So you can throw over stuff. So a grenade launcher or anything you need yeah. to throw or fire up into the air. The throw has a limitation. You can only throw it two hexes. Right now, <laughs> most of us in within throw two hexes. Throw it up hexes. in the air and it lands right, again. Right, burn them. And then, like I said, the incendiary, you plus one to every dice. So you get, you get two dice, but effectively you're, you're plus two. Plus two. Right. Well, plus I'm gonna. Two. I well, he's that's on the demolition. So that's after the uh, communications guy. Anyway. So hopefully, I, yeah, assault rifle this time with your most crazy definitely. handgun tactics. What is <laughs> so and you want a, at least a six will be nice. Which then the combo? Oh yeah, the, the combo six. thing's cool, isn't it? Hey, oh, awesome. that's nine. So the combo thing means I get to roll another dice because I got a six, X yeah, or yeah. I got a WGO as we should now call it. WGO. <laughs> so if you get another WGO, yes. Yeah! Whoa! WGO a lucky dice. You should buy these dice. That's oh, it's oh, cost, but I think that would have gone. That would have gone. Oh my days. He's good. Oh. oh. So that's ends with a 22. Is it 22? 22. Uh, 618. Yeah, 22. So, so that's, that's four. four. Oh my goodness. So that is literally saved. It's incredible. <laughs> From your dodgy handguns to be like, oh, yeah. I got these guys. <laughs> Sweet. So now I'm thinking that should I waste one more? I could do those there two. There is two. There is two. I'm going to Molotov. My, I got to. Got to Molotov. We're on video. Wrong video. <laughs> Makes sense. Okay, so, yeah. so. So you discard it. It's a one shot use. And I've lobbed it. I'll take these away. He's lobbed it. He's good at throwing. So you need the five, so ten minus two. Cause you can I need eight to kill eight. them both. So they're I? almost back to dusk with these guys. There's two. So we need a WGO. Oh, eight. seven. Oh, Plus so two is nine. So again, at dusk, it would have blown them out. Blown them up. Can we speak? Too excited, yeah. So just the one. Oh, that's so bugging. Okay, well, I can't. I can't. It was a yin and a yang there because I did really well on the first guy, yeah. so uh, yeah. I can cope with that. So I multi the guy. So oh. right, I want to see. Is there anything? I'm going to quick look at this. Yes, because I'm intrigued with what. Well, I've this got is it. We've hand. been gathering stuff and thinking about the IED, but to be fair, you've got tons I've of got tools and rope. Tools and rope. So that's the red and the blue. Red and blue. So if you scan and I do through. have one cloth which is white. So red, blue, and white. Red, white, blue. blue. That's a great game system. Right. <laughs> um, red, white, blue. So you want, yeah, you get a chemical. I could have a rucksack. But you could rucksack it. That's not great. I don't think I need a rucksack. I need something offensive rather than help me carry more. Yeah. There's nothing there. There's uh, a... The grenade trap, I mean, with the weapons in regards, the, the big weapons are in the supply drop. Yeah. I mean, other expansions and stuff are going to have other things but yeah. right now this is kind of more for traps and defensive stuff but a grenade trap you don't have the chemicals but that'd be quite useful yeah. to drop down and run away from and let's leave it for the moment then let's fingers leave. crossed we get some chemicals so so what do you reckon should we play one more round now or should we cut for the people watching so they don't have to watch us play another round i'm about to say you're going to take an in it's just because you're going to get injured you want to oh. let's stop here yeah, before yeah. i take a hit Oh crap, I forgot about that. He's down. No, actually no, it'd be demo guy, let's be honest, because he, he yeah. rolled amazingly. So, we need to move these in, do we? No, no, so they can attack oh, adjacent. Attack so he, he can yeah. attack through the door. Yeah, oh. so any adjacent. So this is a bottleneck, so they can only attack from this hex or this hex, but unfortunately. So you can almost uh, imagine he's just, he's lit his cigar. <laughs> he's like, yeah man, we've just taken out five walls. Cigar, and then all of a sudden, <laughs> down his cigar. back. Oh. So demo guy's down, so demo guy's down to one action. Crap. In fact, let's think about it, I'm going to pull him back up. He did really badly, so point out, but I think tactically, i got to be honest, the communication is going to be less useful. What? Damn, that guy's got to put some traps down. Yeah. So again, 
co-op. So who, who's going to get injured? You get to choose who gets injured. So he wasn't smoking his cigar. He was getting his cigar out, <laughs> looking at his mate going, good shooting. His you mate really goes, do about that werewolf. Yeah, I'm great at shooting. <laughs> oh, straight through the throat. Okay, no so problem. Down. But yeah, I think we'll cut to, we'll play a bit more. Yeah. Off cam, and then we'll kind of come back later. Come back like two or three times. We'll come back at the um, pre anti penultimate phase. Pre anti penultimate, I can't say that. Yeah, yeah. Great. it's good, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, cool. Okay, great stuff. Seventh turn of night. Uh -huh. Two more turns to go. We put on the extra spawn, and the ex other werewolves are populated. I can't, I know we lost our communications guy. Oh, yeah, yes. <laughs> yeah, he, he didn't make it. <laughs> um, so, but we've got an IED. We'll kind of say we're set up. It's in a, yeah, I don't know. I'm just looking at kind of what to do. It's, it's, yeah, we've got some issues. The demolitions guy is gonna, is to go first. Right. So you've got an IED. So we managed to build an uh, improvised explosive device which can take out spawns because we haven't found any uh, C4 yet. So we've managed to put our supplies together, our scavenge materials, and we've kind of crafted one. <laughs> so we can take out spawn, which again, we've got two more turns, so there's going to be at least some more Just werewolves. Just need to get rid out. of one at least. And this werewolf here, which is kind of the spawn point with the werewolf, is, is kind of. So what do I have to do? Do I go in and then back out? No, again? so again, like the what you did with the one shot ability, um, it can take out adjacent, so you kind of throw it in a right. way. So you can okay. just use one action and just take it well, out. Well, that's what I'm doing. So that's deaded. Yeah. So, so yeah, I don't just stick that there for a moment. So yeah. So boom. So and take do we lose the wolf as well, or no? That'd be, mm. That would be cool. It would be cool. Who designed this game? Yeah. So <laughs> he's throwing the hole and it closes the hole. Perhaps is the better yeah. explaining. So like they they obviously live in a burrow and we've they're using the tunnel systems of the Vietnam oh, forces. Of course, yeah. Um, <laughs> yes. Yeah. That's what they do right there. So you've got one more action. You've still not used your claymore, I'm like, we just held that. Like, yeah, yeah, they're your babies. Like, oh, I, you need to tell me how to use these. Cause I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm it is I said, the most complicated. It's because it, it, it tactically can be used in different ways. So the way you use it is you discard the card. Yeah. Um, you can plant them in your hex or adjacent hexes. Mm -hmm. Right now, I won't put it in your hex because if it triggers, it will kill us because you can't move away. Yeah. Um, what happens is when you place the trap down, which is the token, Yeah. you, know, you place it in any empty circle. Yep. Of that hex. Whenever a werewolf, so it, it, they, the traps work in the werewolf's action phase essentially. So when the werewolves go into that hex, one of them is going to trip it yep. and stay there. Any remaining werewolves, so some could run through, but any remaining in that hex are going to be completely removed. And with the claymores as well, there's three little arrows on the token. Yeah. You can point them in directional hexes. So three hexes adjacent in that direction take damage as well. Oh. So claymores are extremely useful, especially at the kind of night level now, because you just remove werewolves. You don't have to roll for them. So ideally, you want to put that in a hex where six are going to stop, so you can kill six like instantly. Again, it, the chances of that happening are slim, we but we could try. Um, so again, if we put it here, for example, we put it in this high hex here. Mm -hmm. These werewolves, one's going to go in and trigger, but two are going to run past, but these two are going to run into the hex. Yeah, so, so that's going to kill at least, looking at really quickly, three, and then the directional may take out others. So that's not a bad thing. So the question is, if we, um, what's this, what does this do? You've got uh, The we, snare, yes, yeah, sorry. Yeah. Uh, the scout quickly put together with just using one rope, so you can craft, craft traps with just one item. Yeah. Uh, she's put down a snare. It is essentially a one-shot kill. So one whale is going to trigger that and kill itself. So one rope, one kill. Much like kind of the wood with the spear, but a trap. So with the combination <coughs> of the two, so we would take out five, wouldn't we? We could, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, yeah. do it. I'm gonna do it as well. So I'm burning through my cards, but it is, it is We've the anti, anti penultimate go. Yeah. Right then, so I'm gonna stick that in here, facing that way. Yeah. I mean. This sounds crazy. You can actually face it into our hexes. We're not affected by the blast because we're essentially nowhere really? it is. Oh. So we, we can like duck behind rocks and trees. Well, we can't stand case, next to it because there's no case. way. Yeah. Because they because these are going to go through to there. Well, they got they got to run out of the hut. Oh, that's so, not so bad then. I, I, I'm going to sorry to this. Mark. I'm going to I'm going to point in those three. I think that might be. Oh no, I know. I, oh, I don't know actually. No, yeah, so you might be right. They, why would they go that way? I'm thinking some's going to be here. If we're going to stay here with the current, mm. they're going to be in this hex. So we want to kind of hit them with that. But some are going to be probably in this hex here. Well, these, uh, yeah, this one will be. That there. one, yeah. I, I think my my call is better. I, I have to say, better. even though it's your game. Not again, not again. <laughs> I forget. How to, I don't know what I'm doing half the time. I just hey, I rolled the dice. Um, yeah. <sighs> I didn't move. I felt it's good. You've taken out a spawn and laid a trap. I think that's yeah. decent. Right, well, I'm going to pass to you sweet. your gunner then. Come on, gunner, do something so impressive. So the gunner, we're down to one ammo. Yeah. 
I'm going to use uh, my ammo card, uh, yeah. discard it, so I get six. So at least I can find, so that's five, six. Now that tasty little crate, you never know, fingers crossed. So I'm going to move in here. So that's my two and actions. You can have them both, can't so you? I can grab both. So I take them both, and right. fingers crossed, I've got more Probably than just me, like, you get something good. Well, hopefully, there's going to be. <gasps> I'm going to have to show them. Hey, so I've got the minigun <laughs> and C4. So we've been looking for them pretty much the whole game. So the minigun is, I say, the biggest gun really in the game. Uh, and then C4 explosives can take out spawns as well. I was looking, I just really, oh, phew, I, was thinking, I've got, I can carry that. I was like, I've got three cards, oh, yeah, I imagine I'm you could five. And also now I've got two machine guns. I can only use one at a time. So, and your your demolitions has got some ammo. Yeah. Oh, so this is gonna be. This sounds crazy, but what we're gonna do is, with the scout, she's gonna kind of move around and move yep. stuff around. So, one action to move to the gunner, yep. and they're gonna rob the machine gun. And the C4. I'm gonna take the C4. And then with second action, I'm gonna throw you the machine gun. Ah, I like it. And I still have one action left. And I could use C4, but there's no there's no spawns around me. So maybe next go or so we can press. She can come out. And we've still got we've got two turns, so we can still move the colonel just to the helicopter. We've still got those two. Yeah. Well, let's see yeah. what all of our shenanigans do. Shenanigans. Because you've got another we've got another trap here as yeah, well. Yeah, we played the punji trap again off off cam. Um, so the punji trap's been working. It's kind of like a, it's the only trap that kind of remains in play. Um, so every time a werewolf goes past the hex, they take damage. So one werewolf essentially could die each turn, so it's really good to kind of use them and bottleneck. But mm. again, more useful early on than now, perhaps, but we've got it. So, work at trap, so we'll move in. So as we're going, we'll note it only takes 1D. So it only takes one damage, so I'll just put that back there. So this werewolf here that's just gone into the punji trap. Oh, <sighs> not quite enough. Not quite. And then it's three. Oh, I forgot about oh, this spawn here. <laughs> I forgot about this spawn. Uh, one. Two. So this is where it gets. Yeah, we, we move. It's best to move the werewolves, the ones yeah. closer, closest to the monkey. Yeah, that makes sense. So this guy here, kill him instantly. So he hits the snare. Yep. So one werewolf down before he even. And then this one activates that. Yes, yeah, so you right? can almost say click. Stay on there. Yeah. Um, one, the rest. two. So the what happens now? Because do we do scale? Oh no, well, the hut. Oh, so they've got to run around. Yeah. One, two. So they're going to there. One, two. These are. <laughs> Suckers. One, two. <laughs> that guy's moved. One, two. One. What did we work out? This was quicker. Two. One, see two. There. One, two. Cool. So, Claymore mm -hmm. instantly blows up, kills M3. Yeah. So, again, this is why traps are really useful in the kind of survival mode. Yeah. So, that kills M3, and it was pointing this way. Was it pointing this way? No, we, we ended up going this way because you wanted to go that way. Yeah. Which would have been really useful. Uh, <laughs> Because how many would you have killed there, Paul? Uh, yeah, yeah, no, not essentially, no, no, I didn't kill any. Yeah, so these fight, fight these three, so yep. they take two damage. So oh. rather than I see, ten would be lovely, but... How about twelve? <laughs> WG, kick two off. WGO! So yeah, so two down, oh man. So again, we were like, favour, just using traps and using and being a bit clever and understanding the game a little bit better. Yeah. We've gone from we ain't getting out of here to like actually we've got a slight chance. We're in a really good place because there's nothing spawn point wise. No, there's very few near us. No, it's only I mean these two are close enough, something. Yeah. We've got two more turns. Because I think I keep forgetting that these ones you got to go all the way around. Yeah. So it's again, actually... it's really useful for us and them. It can be kind of yeah, yeah. it's a bottlenecking. So it's annoying for them right now. But if we had to get there, that'd be annoying for us because we'd have to. Oh, yeah, yeah. So. Yeah. Cool. So everyone's moved. So we get to shoot. And we got to kill that at least one werewolf. Which is this fellow? He's yeah. got to die, otherwise one of us is. So you've got. I mean, I have got, got a flak jacket though. Yeah, yeah. Again, off cam, we've got a flak jacket. So you've Which got. I'll show the camera. We managed to get this out of a supply crate. So that's essentially an extra hit. So yeah. we can discard a hit. Whenever I wish we my want communication to. guys were wearing that. Yeah, one. that would be useful. Poor fellow. He'll be remembered. He was a dumbass. <laughs> um, so you go. You get to shoot first. Well, I'll go for it now. Part of me's thinking I don't actually need the machine gun right now because. I suppose I would kill him. You can see three. C3, so. um, uh, let's do it. Yeah. Right, so that's... Again, less wells now. Do you reckon uh, machine gun three or machine gun five? Three, you get... Three, you're not... I don't know. Do three. Do three. You want to keep a little bit just... Because unless one of us is brave enough to run for that, I don't think we're going to get any more yeah, ammo. True. 
Oh my yeah, goodness. That's one. That's one. That's, that's one. That's, that's all we guy. need. That's so, yeah, that, that's okay. We can cope with that. It's okay. Now, with the grenade launcher, again mentioned earlier with the Molotov, it has the ability to lob. So I'll put this back in just kind of. I have a question. I don't think you can see anything. Well, with lob, you don't need to see anything. Ah. Thum. So yeah, I can fly sense. into any hex, which seems ridiculous. Any hex from anywhere. Any hex from anywhere. Wow. <laughs> so that's how the grenade is. Again, three ammo for three dice is quite good. But yeah, it's decent. So I'm going to fire at stuff that we think may get to us. So right now, we can count, like literally tactically, we can count where they're going to be. So these guys, there's going to be another two turns. One, two. So these guys here can essentially attack us. Really they're going to be in the helicopter hex. So anything beyond them, we don't need to go. worry about right now. Yeah. So I'm going to fire into this hex hex. This yeah. again is the most damage. So I'm going to use three ammo. Essentially. Oh, I got the mini gun. I forgot the mini gun. Uh, so I got three dice. How could you forget the I mini? don't know. <laughs> oh. 12. So I need a 10, so those two dead. And then every hex, so all the adjacent hexes around it get one damage. So I'm just going to roll. Nah. Yeah. Yeah. Let's kill those your ones, don't you? I know, I too many. Uh, and my scout, so again, I'm going to remove one of them. That guy, I don't like the look of that guy. He's just <laughs> staring at me funny. So I got down to one ammo. Right. Headshot, so again, headshot. headshot. Yeah, oh, yeah, so yeah, so I got a four, but the, the weapon, the sniper has the headshot ability. Yeah, so every so again, it, it, I say it gets better through dusk. It, it stays, stays mm. good without. So I remove that werewolf. Cool. So, down to turn eight. Uh, yeah, eight of night. So it's like seventeen. 17 it's been it's sweating. Um, so New one spawn. more spawn. Two southeast. That's good. We can cope with that. Yeah. Like that's oh, that's one. really good. Yeah. That's and south, mate. That's that one. Yeah. Right, thank you. That's right. It's just the, it's the pressure. How many do they get each? One. One world oh, each spawn. We. That was lucky. Then we had the hard, I said the hardest cards early on. Um, but yeah, if you'll note as well, I'll just kind of highlight this. On the event card, there's a little numbers in the corner, um, range from one to 12 yeah. of difficulty. So if you wanted to, you can make a really hard deck or really kind of simple, easier deck or mix ah. it up. So again, we shuffled them, so it's a bit random, but you can essentially So that was the easiest it. night one it could That's have been. That's the easiest night one we have, and that's quite nice. So hopefully this isn't 12 that we've got to come up with. <laughs> yeah, no, in our luck. Uh, so Gunner goes first. Yeah. Um, so we need to get the. Again, so this is turn eight. Seventeen. Oh, seven, yeah, 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 yeah. So after eight, after the helicopter, was seventeen yeah. in, the, in the whole game. So gonna again, we've got that like one tactic now, just because we had to move. Mm. So let's just we've got to run. So I'm gonna we're either gonna one two. Yep. The scout is gonna move <laughs> using two actions. Move to there. I got a free move, but right now I'm just gonna stay there. I think. Yep. We don't have any traps. Oh. We can remove a spawn, but it's almost like a bit too late now. I think they're too and far they're away. And they're too far away. Yeah. So yeah. Man. So I'm going to hold on to that just in case a spawn turns up next to me. But. Good idea. I'm going to um, I'm going to join you. Or yeah. should I? Is it worth trying to get anything? Cool? Scavenge. Scavenge. Your your machine gun's going to be better than a spear right now. True. So and there's nothing else that we can get from just one and get an ammo belt doesn't help you could do the crazy thing Snare. that you like to do and just run him into the jungle and take all the ah, <laughs> take yeah. all the damage again you got the flight jacket you could essentially grab that stuff but you're going to be I'm going to be mint to me and I can't shoot you Can't I can't help you because the trees are in the way it's quite nah, a thick I'll, jungle I'll just I'll play sensible yeah I think Unlike we got normal. this I think we got one tactic just yeah. get him there so where was move so oh my god one two so I'm going to do the punji trap, so just in case you think, like, what the, what's he doing? So the punji trap is attacking a werewolf. Yes! Oh, really? Yeah, every time Good they man. run past it, you take one, one werewolf two. takes a hit. One, two. One, two. Yep, one, two. Cool. So how many we got? We got, we got three that we need, four, four that we need to yeah, deal we with. Yeah, we so we got four, which are kind of immediate danger. Yeah. So, I'm going to use my minigun. <laughs> four, I've only got four ammo. Can you use, haven't you got that free beam in oh, Yeah. So again, I'll just put it in there. So, oh, there we go, just hold it in there. So with her one shot attack, so in attack mode, any once per game, she can use any rapid fire weapon, like the mini again, and fire it full for free. So I'm gonna hold on to that for the last turn, just in case we have to kind of use that mm. as the kind of last resort. 
So right now I'm using the minigun at four. So four dice, four damage. No six, oh, no, it wasn't six. No sixes, that's that. Eight. Three, then. Three dead. Yeah, three dead. One, two, three. Good job. But now, yeah, oh, no ammo, but essentially she's got one shot left and scout. I got one bullet and some grenades. So I'm going to, I'm going to do this. So again, the grenades are a discard weapon. Yeah. I'm also just keep putting it. Um, essentially, you throw it away. Uh, it's very much like the Molotov. Instead of the incendiary, you get a blast. So I'm going to okay. throw these grenades at this hex here. So three damage. Oh. Ooh. Twelve. Two dead. That's two dead. That's good. We need it. Plus, that. these guys get also damage. So I'm going to just roll these. So this one's the one in front. This guy's behind. The guy behind gets hit. He's gone. It's gone. So he, <laughs> So she's got one bullet left for the oh, last oh, turn. And I'm gonna have to do some shooting myself. You got you can only see one well, so right, I'm gonna machine. How much ammo have you got? I've got five left. And so I've you got, can split between three and a two? Yeah, I'm gonna do you know what? I'm gonna do the two this turn. Yeah. Because I've got the flax jacket if we need it. Yeah. Anyway, so I'm gonna do two dice. And five or one. I'm, I'm looking for WGOs. Uh, that's a two, and that's a one. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. <laughs> He's talking about the flat jacket. <laughs> right, so that was the last hour, last kind of attack. So the world was attack. We take so, one damage, so. So I'll lose, I'll lose the flax jacket due to my incompetence with shooting. So. <laughs> that's what it's there what for, right? Keep in hand, um, a character carrying a flax jacket. Um, can discard it to ignore a injury. So yeah. I've done exactly that. Just take it off. It's gone. Just ripped it's off. Gone. Pure, yeah, nicely clean. Ripped off the yep. gun jacket there. Come, on, so you ready? Oh, Last this is turn. The moment. Please don't be number twelve. Turn eighteen. Oh no. Oh no, more sports. Sevens. And a supply drop. Like we need that. Um, so we don't have the comms guy, so we can't re-roll. Com guy's gone. Bless him. It's a five southwest. Oh. Oh, yeah. beautiful. It's just in case we need it. Not that we really need no, it. No, I think we'll be alright. And two werewolves per point. Yeah, so two on this one. It's just a one. We get to see the full glory of all the werewolves all running out now. They're all angry. The colonel's getting away. I don't like it. This is quite hectic. It's quite hectic. I think we're right. I think we just did enough, to yeah. be honest. Uh, and now the scout goes first. So. Move him in, so we just made it. So the colonel on the last turn. So that was two movements. You could go there and get. Yeah, them. oh brilliant. Yeah, nice work. Uh, how many cards am I carrying? Just going to make. So I've got three, so three. I can take all three. Yeah, let's do it. Hopefully, there's something. I don't know. We've got the minigun to be fair. I don't think we're well, gonna... you might get some more bullets. We good. We've got a machete, a flare, and some ammo. Cool. So we'll load up with different colours right there. Yeah, and then demolition with your three ammo. I say fall back, just... Yeah, I'm, uh, may as well, I know. Just one, go to there and do get, get your ammo off you. Yeah. If that's all right. You can't reload. I cannot reload. No, okay. Oh, there's no point then. No. I'll just stay there. And then the gunner. <laughs> fall back. This is it. This is just the moment. Just gotta survive this time, so the werewolves are running. And one, definitely more targets there. One, two. So again, I'm just gonna roll for this bungee trap. I like the bungee traps. Oh. Did it work? Yeah. Did it? <laughs> That's ridiculous. Well, it's done more than the comms guy. Yeah. Shush. Sure, sure. <laughs> Poor comms guy. Is that one being moved? No. One, two, three. I think we're pretty much there, aren't we? So, really, we've just got to deal with four and yeah. we're safe. Yeah. Which is definitely doable. Cool, so you go first with Scouty. So Scouty, last shot, last bullet. So this is the final turn. This is it. Five. That'll do it. I go there. Shoot him off. And to be fair, even now, we've won, haven't we? Because if we didn't take out these three... True. They'd only do one damage to... Well, we'd lose one guy. One guy and one guy be injured, yeah. yeah. So essentially, yeah, right now we've so got this, one, two, three, four, five So damage. this is gravy now. We, yeah, we've yeah. Got, we got there. Dinner, dinner, chicken, chicken, dinner, dinner, whatever it's the phrase. Yeah. 
Right then, so it's now demolitions. Just go crazy. He's See how many we can kill. Three bullets. See if we can make it look like we own the board. Well, we own it. Got yeah. out with a by the skin of our teeth. Yeah. Right then. Well, that'll help in no oh! way whatsoever. What is going on that's, with me and my dice that's rolling? Zero wells. Oh. <laughs> well done, that one. <laughs> that's impressive. Oh. Good job. We, yeah, we've already won. Says the guy just dropping out yeah, well, of the if floor. We, if we live too right, he's dying. He's definitely dying. He's shooting the gun in the air. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right, mini gun. So it's, like, it's like those people that are winning the marathon and they they go, yeah, I've won. And then the, the guy behind them just goes, <laughs> <laughs> I've got this. It's not good. Well done, Gunner. So no ammo. That was no, it, that's a demolition guy, not Gunner. Oh, sorry. Oh, yeah. It's you now. This is it. So I'm mini gun. So I'm using my one shot. I've left it to the last turn because that's the kind of crazy guy I am. Six dice. Oh, I've got a G. So it's a mo Oh, another dice. Ooh. Ooh. So that's 10. I'm going to do my math really quick. 18. 23. 23. Four. Boom, boom, boom. Cleared it. Let me hear you say way -o. Good job, buddy. And Great the game. helicopter comes in, dun, 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 takes them out. To be fair, it just takes the camera. The scout's just going to lay. Yeah, just leave them behind. So, yeah, we did it. Well done, man. Sweating. Sweating. Oh, full moon jacket in its pure survival mode. Mate, I loved it. I, I just like to say. In memory. In memory of. The orange guy. <laughs> the orange guy. Didn't even get to use the airstrike. He Didn't was even rubbish. Get that far. Rubbish. Um, but what I really liked, because obviously we played it last Wednesday for my first time and we yeah. didn't bother with scavenge because it was too much beyond my comprehension to do that all in one go. <laughs> and I have to say, scavenge is really cool. It's so cool making all this stuff and, yeah. and the traps are really amazing as well. Yeah. We didn't play them last time as well. No, right? like, like some people forget. Like I play, I mean, obviously I play. There's so many things you, you forget or you don't. I really like punching traps. I've worked out they're quite, they work quite well. Um, um, but I have friends who kind of like just IED. I just gotta make, I just gotta remove spawns. That's all I gotta do. Yeah. Um, and also other people just kind of waste the materials on on daggers. It's like if you want to do that, that's fine. Yeah. So yeah, it does add like another level. But like when you played like on Wednesday, it's 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 good to do the arcade mode first because yeah. it kind of essentially gives you the movement, how yeah. to attack, how the werewolves move, yeah. how to spawn stuff, how to randomize stuff. So it's the kind of core base, and the crafting is just kind of like literally yeah. the icing. And the I love top. the supply drop mechanism. That's I've not seen anything like that before. No. no. And as we said, we're, when we make the game, we're actually going to make it with brown dice. So that yeah, it's and then look kind of a little bit crate. more like a crate yeah. than a red one. Um, I think we're going to have to get some WGO dice in there as well. <laughs> oh, yeah. So you we swapped to the reds, yeah. and they're yeah. like, yeah. Oh, you so you either rolled sixes or you rolled yeah. ones. Yeah, it yeah. Was yeah. Too much yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, I really love the intensity of the game as it built up. I love the fact that these things were spawning all over, and after a bit, it's just like, there's like literally werewolves everywhere. Yeah. yeah. Um, but the good news is you kind of stuck together, hadn't you? So they were kind of... That idea of making your movement... Um, an accessory to predicting the way the wolves are going to go. You know, yeah. you can kind of, if I go over here, they've got to go around these huts here and those kind of things. I thought that's quite yeah. intriguing. That makes movement quite a crucial part of it, knowing that where you go sort of dictates how the werewolves are going exactly, to behave yeah. as well. You know? I mean, and when we played on, <laughs> yeah, Wednesday, yeah. on Wednesday, it was great because that we were in a lot more trouble than we were on this one. And um, we were like, we aren't going to win this. And then Paul had this great idea. I, I don't know. I think it was. No, I don't it was do mine. this. It was mine. <laughs> and so I there like was, to keep we had four characters, <laughs> four characters, and the colonel. So there was five, five in effect. Yeah. So what I said to Paul is, why don't we run three of them away, which would actually bring the wolves, which yeah. it did, and then the colonel and the medic, who's not in this one, yeah. survived. All the other three were absolutely yeah. wiped out and that it was it was pretty sad you felt like oh these guys have but been that's really cinem but... cinematic yeah. isn't it because it's just like you go you go <laughs> well, that's yeah. it yeah. <laughs> and how do you strike them yeah. and, and, and also up, what know? was really cool was in the fir first after we did that the first round two of the guys went down but one guy was just limping on, limping on. <laughs> and then drawing him out another turn. Yeah, and he had, on him was, he, he had the claymore, didn't he? So yeah. he put the claymore down, killed himself in the process, but took all of them out. <laughs> it was just, it was brilliant. And it didn't matter because those walls weren't going to take out the colonel. Yeah. But yeah, it was brilliant. I, I mean, awesome. I took, with the sacrificing mechanics, it's like one of my favourite things I've, I've seen done with this game is, it was, uh, I think it was a scout. The scout got a machete and kind of ran onto the bridge and just was like, I'm staying on the bridge as a bottleneck and was just hacking through werewolves like for three or four turns. It's like six after six. It's like, this is crazy. Yeah. yeah, again, it just adds those little kind of like scenes and movie magic that, yeah. again, it's essentially 
Predator. <laughs> really? Yeah. It's Predator meets Aliens with a sprinkling of werewolves. werewolves. That's it's it. Um, so we're trying to get those kind of moments in And there. you've got yeah. lots of cool things planned, haven't you? So we got you've got a Colonel pre-story. You've got yeah. potentially other wolf types coming in. Of, yeah. Again, I don't want to give too much away, but you can imagine. Kind of, these are like people are like, oh, I want different wolves. It's like when you first saw Aliens, you don't go, I instantly want a different alien. It's like, you yeah, just, yeah. this is the first taste, the first encounter of these kind of werewolf, yeah. humanoid pack. Again, these are, these ones here are kind of like, the, uh, named kind of the grunts or soldier uh, werewolves. So they just essentially just keep coming. They're yeah. not very clever, but they're essentially kind of like simplistic and, and, and kind of feral. So there are other types which are going to move and kind of act differently, but again, on an AI system. So again, you can play on your own. Um, again, it's quite, I play this guy. I still like this game, even I play like a thousand times. I still play it on my own, and like again, engineering stuff, and go. Actually, I'm gonna just make like decoys. I'm gonna see how that works. And again, like you find out there's a different mechanic, a different way of playing, just by kind of playing by yourself mm. and stuff. So yeah, it is really good as a co-op game and a solo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I essentially, it's a co-op. I, it, it, the more fun. Again, the more people, especially the six of you and the six characters, and you play this kind of game, you really go to town. And two, two and a half hours later, you're like. Wow. Sweating. Like, oh my god, down to the again, no more ammo. No one has any ammo. Like, no. That was it. The last round of shooting, that was it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. if it had gone on for another two turns, oh, we would have been toast, wouldn't we? Yeah, yeah. And Mark's last shooting was a game changer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's almost impressively bad, that was, wasn't it? Triple Perhaps, snake eyes. Yeah, yeah. That's that was good. That was impressive. Okay. Yeah. Great. Well, yeah. Thank you for hosting, Phil. And it's it's yeah. been great fun, and it's been, uh, fun. it's been awesome seeing you set up the cameras and how it all works as well. Yeah. I've learned something today. Yeah. Some beautiful dice. As well.